Before we get into our video today, just a request. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you never miss any of our computing related videos. Thanks. There are a number of reasons to use Windows 10 Pro rather than the Home Edition, encryption being one of them. Another of my favorite reasons is the ability to run virtual machines. Believe it or not, the Linux operating system is actually a built-in option. If you ever wanted to try Linux, you have the perfect opportunity if you are running Windows 10 Pro Edition. In this video, I'll show you how to install Linux. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is determine if Hyper-V is installed on your computer. Hyper-V is what allows you to run virtual machines. Go to the search field and type Hyper-V. When you do, find Turn Windows Features On and Off. In the new window which appears, find Hyper-V. If you expand the listing, you'll see two Hyper-V options. If Hyper-V is not already checkmarked, put a checkmark in it to select all Hyper-V options. If you already have Hyper-V installed, you can skip ahead to the time frame listed in the description below. Otherwise, I'll continue to explain how to install Hyper-V. After checkmarking, click OK. Windows will search for the required files, apply the changes, and ask you to restart your computer. After your computer is restarted, go to the search field again and type turn Windows features on or off. We want to make sure Hyper-V installed. As you can see, all the Hyper-V features did install. Once again, we go back to the search field. This time we type Hyper-V and we'll find the Hyper-V manager near or at the top. Click on the manager. In the manager's left column, highlight the name of your computer. In the right column, you'll see Quick Create. Click there. A number of virtual machine options will appear, including three versions of Ubuntu Linux operating system. There's a version 18.04.3.175. That's the stable version. Then there's version 19.10, which was an interim release between the stable version and the latest version, 20.04. For this video, we're going to install 20.04. Highlighting that version gives us information about it in the right column. Once we're ready, we click the Create Virtual Machine button. The image will first download. Please note we've sped up these processes in real time. Have patience, it takes some time. Then verify, then create the new virtual machine by extracting the download. Next, it will configure some settings and create the hard drive. At this point, the Ubuntu Linux virtual machine is installed and ready to start. When we press connect, our virtual machine window appears and we need to click start. A command window will appear with a number of choices. Ubuntu is at the top and highlighted. We can either hit the Enter key, or we can simply wait for the window timer at the bottom to count down. The wizard will proceed on its own if we just wait. Once started, we'll need to walk through an initial information wizard. We start with the language we'd like to use. As you can see, there are many of them. We'll start with English. Next, we choose our keyboard layout. Again, I'll go with English. Now we need to tell the machine where we are. It automatically defaults to my current time zone, but I can choose another simply by clicking other places on the world map. Moving on in the wizard, we need to tell it who we are. Choose a username and add a password. Since I have no security reasons to force a password every time I start the machine, I choose the login automatically option. After that, some configuration and installing takes place. Again, I've sped up this process for the video. A command window appears once again and the machine restarts. At this point, I can connect my online accounts, such as Microsoft or Google. For now, I'll skip this step. 
I'll also skip the live patch step since I would have to create a live patch account, etc. Live patch helps with the updating of Ubuntu. Ubuntu wants to receive reports from my computer to help improve the operating system. This is purely your decision, but I normally do say yes to this kind of question. The final step of the wizard concerns location services. Do I want to share my location with absent programs when I'm using the computer? Generally, I turn this option on. Now I'm presented with a list of some of the apps I can install. Just to demonstrate, I've clicked on the VLC app and then I click Open Software Now. After the catalog downloads, I click Done. Note, you may receive a window asking for your password before VLC is installed. On the desktop, I can move my mouse up and down over the favorite icons and see what each of them is. When I want to see all applications, I click the nine dot icon in the lower left hand corner. There are two menus of applications. On the second menu, I see the VLC app I had chosen to download earlier. I right click on its icon and choose add to favorites. Now to get back to the desktop, I click the nine dot icon again. I'm going to open Firefox and go to our 4KCC website. Once there, I accept cookies, that's the message at the bottom, and I'm able to scroll through our website's opening page. To shut down my Ubuntu virtual machine, I click on the down arrow in the upper right hand corner of the toolbar, click on power off slash log out, and then power off in the pop-up. The machine is now off. That's it for this video on how to install Linux on a Windows 10 Pro computer. Before you go, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications. Thanks.